Since I've been up here, I realize that there are no boundaries in the world. The world is one. The idea that on Earth there are people who are fighting, killing and being killed for the power of being in one place rather than another is an absolutely alien view from here. This is how the astronaut Luca Parmitano commented on his first walk in space. The world seen from a new perspective, that of a united world. And this is the challenge of the United World Project. Youth for a United World, the youthful expression of the Focolare movement, founded by Kara Lubick and spread around the world, are the promoters of this project. Their dream? To see the growth of a new culture that gives a new value to the idea and the experience of brotherhood, not only in the consistency of the activities of daily living, but also in education at the cultural level to restore peace and more humane living conditions among all peoples. Kara Lubick writes, the strong contradictions that mark our age need a penetrating and incisive point of orientation, categories of thought and action capable of involving every single person, as well as the peoples with their economic, social and political orders. There is a universal idea which is already in place and an experience that is proving to be able to support the weight of this epochal challenge, universal brotherhood. Go, 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 go. It is the end of August of 2012, when 12,000 young people, with the baggage of their own generation and the history of their 125 countries of origin, reach Budapest for the 10th edition of the Gen Fest, the world gathering of youth for a united world. 500,000 more people are connected by streaming. They invade the city, shouting, let's bridge. They commit themselves to building bridges of brotherhood between cultures and peoples, giving voice to the need to rediscover each other as sisters and brothers, to put back at the heart of politics, culture, economy, science, the person, relationships, and gratuitousness. As evidence of their commitment, in Elizabeth Square, in the heart of the city of Pest, the corner of Universal Brotherhood is inaugurated. Here we are at the inauguration of the uh, fraternity place. This place is, uh, it symbolizes the five continents and uh, the fraternity of uh, older people living in the world. On five marble benches in 20 languages, including Braille, the golden rule is carved. Common precept to major religions and cultures of the world. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Proponiamo un patto mondiale di fraternità. Lanciamo il United World Project. It is in this context that the United World Project is launched, which aims to make universal brotherhood the new cornerstone of politics, economics, work, sports, environmental protection, communication, science and art. Through the creation of a global network, a permanent and international observatory is created to study, collect and promote actions of brotherhood in the world. The United World Week, sponsored since 1996 by the Youth for a United World, is a real expo of universal brotherhood and the opportunity to propose initiatives of fraternity to the institutions and impact on public opinion of the countries where it takes place. Experience that will hopefully soon get UN recognition. So the rule number one, remember, you heard it in here, be the change that you want to see in a world where you wish to live a fraternity. Siamo qui in Terra Santa per la settimana del Mondo Unito insieme a moltissimi giovani da tutto il mondo per cercare di fare un ponte di comunione tra tutte le genti. In questi giorni è stato come entrare in un'altra dimensione, si è respirata un'aria inusuale che non si trova da nessun'altra parte. Yeah! 
and we're happy to share this evening of joy and happiness uh, in the unity of all human beings, which is a message that the Focolari brings to us here that sometimes we forget about. We are all born to be brothers. Africa has very good values, and that this is the contribution they want to give. That is why we came up and said, we want to call it sharing the Africa, because we want to share our culture, our values, to the whole world. I come from Jordan, to share the culture, the knowledge of the cultures, especially Ubuntu, which is, uh, I am because we are, and I think I'm gonna get it as a lifestyle, beginning from, from here. Do we, we, we are afraid to come out open because of bombless and all that, but with this experience, I will go back with, um, uh, with that uh, strongness in me to tell them, yes, even if it's gonna cost our life, we need to move on in order to make this idea a reality. In Nairobi in 2014, the Atlas of Universal Brotherhood was also presented, the first dossier of the United World Project, in collaboration with a study group made up of teachers and students of Sofia University. A historical and geographical mapping that collects examples of fraternity lived in every part of the world, fragments of fraternity. Actions of timely intervention to assist victims of earthquakes, floods, famine, war, and on a local level, all those initiatives fueled by the desire to build fraternity in our cities, in the neighborhoods where we live. I'm Alexandra from Australia. I want to give up an hour of my pay to the Philippines. Let's bridge people, show the world. Let's bridge countries so it works. Let's go ahead, make America. <laughs> La legalità qui a Caserta rappresenta l'opportunità per noi giovani non solo di parlare di legalità ma anche e soprattutto di sporcarci le mani. Mi ha colpito vedere come anche in queste cose proprio quotidiane ehm, si senta quello che è il problema anche della criminalità organizzata. La legalità è fondamentale, necessaria per la crescita della persona, per lo sviluppo ma non è il fine, ma è lo strumento per raggiungere un obiettivo che si chiama giustizia. Some young people in Stockholm have promoted a charity event in favor of Iraq, a dinner that involved young and old at the cathedral of the city, including the participation of the first consul of the embassy of Iraq. In the district of Scampia, in Naples, the Youth for a United World organized a day's work to bear witness to the love of God for all. Simple actions, such as cleaning a small field, singing and playing games on the road, building a small wall in the neighborhood of the gypsy community, have generated collaborations and fraternal relations that still last. Since September 2012, when the United World Project started, over 800 fragments of fraternity from all continents have been collected. Me and you are one. I can't hurt you without hurting myself. The protagonist of the next stage of the United World Project will be the Asian continent, 
In the first week of May, young people from various parts of the world will arrive in Mumbai and Coimbatore, India, to fully develop together the theme of dialogue. Dialogue, Highway for Fraternity. Keep in your heart universal brotherhood. I live for universal brotherhood. I wake up to another day. Sometimes it's hard to roll out of bed and face the world again. Put on the bravest smile, look to the sky and see.